Introduction to Poetry by Billy Collins. I ask them to take a poem and hold it up to the light like a color spy, to, or press an ear against its hide. I say drop a mouse into a poem and watch him probe his way out, or walk inside the poem's room and feel the walls for a light switch. I want them to water ski across the surface of a poem, waving at the author's name on the shore. But all they want to do is tie the poem to a chair with a rope and torture a confession out of it. They begin beating it with a hose to find out what it really means. I picked this poem because um, when teaching poetry, a lot of students keep asking, well, what does it mean? What does it mean? And they don't always take the time to enjoy the poem, to look at the rhythm, to look at the words that are used. You know, so these poems, some of them, are real short, and the poets take the words and the language and the essence of syntax for a purpose, not just for a meaning, but to, you know, some artistic representation. And that's what I want to do to get the poem. I like the images in it. Um, the holding a poem up to the light like a color slide. I think that's kind of an interesting way of looking at poetry, that you're really examining what's there, not just as meaning, but as art. Tie a poem to the chair with a rope and torture a confession out of it. It's, a, again, a good image of taking, you know, just imagining one of those big literature books tied to a chair, screaming, let me out, let me out, let me out.